This is our opening bout, nine fights on the card tonight. A phenomenal three WBC Muay Thai world title fights, one Rajadamnan Stadium middleweight title fight, and six Phoenix world title fights. Here we go, round number one, round number fight one. number one. Gingla in the red corner versus Jong Pitcott in the blue corner. Five rounds, three minutes apiece, folks. And of course, uh, Genkla, as I mentioned earlier, we had some sound difficulties, but I think we got everything on, now we're on okay. point. Yeah, yeah. Genkla is a famous, famous former elite champion here. Two-time Channel 7 Stadium champion at Super Flyweight and then at Super Bantamweight. And again, a former Lumpini Stadium champion. So he's, he's definitely home here. He's definitely well, home under sure, the lights. But he's sailing into the twilight of his career right now. 26 years of age. He's the reason he's fighting on fight number one tonight. He's not the superstar that he used to be, but still a very dangerous fighter. And yes, of course, Jumpy Cat from Chef Boon Tong Jim, 21 years of age. He's looking to cement a place on the elite lather of Muay Thai, the so called proverbial elite lather. Thank you for tuning in. We're live on the Fight TV app. Rajat Eminem Stadium, Phoenix Muay Thai, the biggest promotion to come to the stadium. They're not the first foreign promotion, but they are the biggest. There's no question about that. I'm not being paid to say that. I'm saying that because they have amassed a serious, serious amount of titles here. Day three, is, three rich, WBC. Rich yeah. Middleweight, lightweight, and super heavyweight. So here we go, round one. Both fighters a little bit uh, apprehensive here in round one, which is classic Muay Thai. They're going to take their time here. They're gonna, oh, and there's a referee telling them enough's enough. Let's fight. Uh, but that's Thai style, Kevin. Yes, but the problem is now, normally on these Monday night shows at Rajat Eminem, the cameras are not in their faces. They're not live on the Fight TV app. Okay. They're not live on Channel 5. They're live tonight. The referee, in the meeting this morning with the referees and the officials, the referees were instructed, make sure the fighters are all gung out round number one. Well, let's see. We haven't seen this so far, but they're definitely going to pick it up with the referee's tutelage there. Tell them to get going, fighters. Let's do it. We have a serious amount looking. of talent, Muay Thai royalty in the arena tonight. Oh, big earlier by, earlier on, sorry, Teddy. Earlier on, I just bumped into former Lumpini Stadium super lightweight champion and all-round Muay Thai superstar Damian Alamos. Whoa. He was a groundbreaker in the modern era. Not the first foreign champion of Lumpini Stadium, but he was a groundbreaker in the terms of the modern this this uh, era now in the 2000s, winning the Lumpini Stadium back in 2012 against Kong Fa Udon Moang, and of course he went on to defend the title again. Tip for doubt here in round one, back and forth. Looks as though John Pete caught a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more power into his punches. On our uh, tail of the tape, it states that King Kla has had 120 fights. I can tell you here no. now that's... Uh, 200. 120 wins, sir. Oh, 200? Yep. I've got a different sheet than you. Okay. Well, oh. technical difficulties. Welcome to Thailand. I know. Don't say Round that. Round one in the books. King Kla in the... Red corner, John Peacock in the blue corner. Let's set the stage for the, the actual main event tonight. Okay. Sexan or Kwan Moang takes on Pan Payak chef Boon Tam Jim. Pan Payak is the current WBC lightweight champion of the world. Rewind the clock to five weeks ago here okay. at Rajadamnan Stadium. Pan Payak and Sexan collided for the IBF lightweight champion of the world. Sexan came with all guns blazing that night. Pan Payak had no answer for him. Whoa. He won the belt. Yes. First ever WIBF world champion. But now tonight we're stepping up echelons. We're going to the elite, the wow. WBC. WBC doesn't really get higher than that, Kevin. So no, it does when, not. when we organized with uh, Phoenix, I worked for the WBC. When we organized with Phoenix yes. to arrange this, and I phoned Sexan, I thought he started crying on the phone. I'm not <laughs> kidding you. He didn't cry, but it's just the yeah, excitement. Yeah, exactly. The yeah, excitement. Yeah. So both fighters weighed in this morning, one pound under the lightweight weight limit of 135 pounds. So it's game on. Pan Payak defends his coveted WBC lightweight world title against the man who yields to no one, a.k.a. Sexan That's or Juan right. Moang. But what a fantastic uh, opportunity this is to uh, thank Mr. Chahe, from the Lebanon. I'm not even going to say his second, second name because I will yeah, just butcher, butcher it. it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for bringing this promotion here yes. and letting us enjoy this fight. I mean, this is one of the biggest cards in the world right now. Absolutely. In the, I mean, let alone in the nation. I mean, and this I is love, insane. I love his message. At the press conference, he said uh, he wants to spread the word of Muay Thai around the world. 
but to, also to the Arab nations. Well, that's North what he's Africa doing tonight, and the for Middle sure. East. Fantastic. Mm. So anyone in the Middle East, North Africa, around the world, and my family in Ireland, top of the morning to you. And yeah, buckle up, sit back, and enjoy. Get the popcorn ready. We're in round two of this five-round fight, opening fight here. Phoenix Five, Bangkok, Thailand. Nine fights tonight <laughs> on the Fight TV app. More than nine belts on the line. Here we go, round two. Round one, very tentative, classic tie, as I mentioned before, a little tit for tat. Just downloading the information. They don't want to go all out. They don't want to get a, an adrenaline dump. They don't want to get themselves caught. They're throwing some feints, throwing some uh, pitter pats, but eventually round three, I like to call the money fight, the money round right there. So and let's see if round two is a little bit more of a learning experience for both of these guys, Kevin. Sure. And of course, Genkla is moving up in weight. Normally, Genkla would fight around maximum super bantam weight, 122. But he has been a bit uh, lucid of late in uh, putting on the pounds. Not so lazy, but just natural growth in his mid twenties. Okay. So now tonight he's fighting at 128. It's uh, so I'm going to say the favorite in this fight, not going on spirits, but just on body size, Jumpy Cat. If that will play a part in the fight, let's see as the fight progresses. Jumpy Cat does look like the bigger fighter here, just on just uh, on camera. Well, he weighed slightly in this morning taller, at 130 longer. pounds. Okay. Uh, Ken Kla weighed in at 128. And of course, if you're just joining us, we're live from the famous storied Rajad Emnan Stadium here in the heart of Bangkok. Beautiful, balmy, hot Bangkok, the city of angels. Mecca of Muay Thai, Kevin. No better place the to be right here Muay to showcase Thai. your skills. And these fighters are going to showcase their skills for sure. Nice, aggressive teak kick there by John Picot. Both fighters are standing in front of each other. Phone, a little phone booth fighting, just not that aggressive though, but... And the referee is uh, losing a small bit of patience with both fighters at yeah, this stage of the fight. <laughs> he's not having it right now. I must say the crowd here in the stadium is starting to Start fill, to fill in up right quite, now. Yeah, it's really starting to fill up. We have a United Nations in front of us. It is fantastic to see Muay Thai fans, for, not only from the Kingdom of oh. Thailand, but from all around the world. Chobby got doubles up, triples up on that jab, tries to break the guard of Gengla. This is our opening bout tonight. Gengla Porpeko from Jitmuang Nan Gym in the Red Shorts. The, one of the top gyms in Thailand. Jitmuang Nan Gym and of course his opponent Jampi Ket from Chu Watana Gym which is now under the umbrella of Chef Boon Tam Gym. And the owner of Chef Boon Tam Gym is now a promoter here in Rajat Eminent Stadium. But his main day job, he owns a line of sushi restaurants throughout Bangkok. Oh, so that chef, yeah, it says in, in his uh, There you go, just giving you a little bit of a backstory. Oh, great outside leg kick there. Genkla is definitely winning the battle of I pull my shorts higher yes, than you. Yes, he is. I've been noticing that. They yes. do love to jack those shorts up here. I know, oh, big, aggressive. Big roundhouse, roundhouse. kick by Jumpy Cat. That's right. Gengla definitely felt the power there in his arms, partially blocked, but that hurts for sure. Speaking to John Picat backstage before the fight, he said, I'm just excited to get on TV tonight. This is his first fight on TV. Wow. He, uh, no, so as I mentioned earlier, the shows during the week here at the stadium, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday night, never live on TV, unless okay. for a, a special big show. Some of the gambling agencies will buy it and show it live on their Facebook pages. Okay. But this is actually will be on national TV, Channel 5, tape delay, but it's still a big stage to be on for Jump Cat. And he said, there's Mr. Chahe, yeah, the president right of there. Phoenix Fighting Championship. And as we mentioned earlier, thank you to him for bringing this show here. Nobody else, only him and his kindness and his money. So we salute you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm already enjoying this evening. So right now we're going to round three. Here's round one and two. Couple double up on the jab there, tentative. Good aggression there for the jab from Gingla. Now, this is round three, the first of the money rounds in my opinion, Kevin. This is where we're gonna bring it. Enough is enough. Nine more minutes left in the fight. This is time to win it, time to take it. Some people say, as you mentioned before in previous uh, pro uh, broadcasts, that rounds one and two can be 10 and 10. They're not 10 and 10. Someone's going to win 10-9, uh, so these are very important. Those are not a wash, round one and two. Yeah, we have it. Here we have it. I'm, we so, I'm just going to fast forward. Um, I'm so excited about all the bouts tonight. Yasin versus Steven for the super heavyweight title. Sing Surya versus Mohammed, but one of the most scintillating bouts tonight will be Gaunar Pique Sanchai, former two-time Lumpini Stadium champion, yep. taking on the king of the sweep, Super Bank.
former fighter of the year, former Regidemnen, former Lumpini, all-round superstar, almost made the Olympics last year in boxing, wow. came so close, didn't make it, so what? We're the winners. He's back in Muay Thai. These two guys, this is their third battle. This, for me, is the one to watch. This is the one to watch. They're all one to watch. No, but, but it's the third it's battle. My, my little under favorite. Under the big lights. Under the big promotion, this is the one to watch. The Leg Sweep King, Cobra Kai. Johnny in the house, sweep the leg, huh? Symphony of Sweeps. I, I've seen a Muay Thai journalist describe it as before. I think the guy from Timo from Muay Thai. is beautiful, nice moniker to put on that, what he does. Amazing. Here, here we go. Gengla in the red corner. John Picot in the blue corner. I'm Teddy Mulve alongside Kevin Noon bringing you the action with a 1-2 mega powers here. Round number three. Phoenix. Here we go. Here we go. And of course, all fights tonight, full Muay Thai rules. Five minutes, five rounds, three minutes yeah, for three each minutes. round. Okay, we're already seeing the action get picked oh, up. Great leg sweep. Beautiful, beautiful technique. Muay Thai one on one by Jumpy sweep Cat. Sweep the leg, Cobra Kai. Fantastic move by Jumpy Cat. Setting the tone here in the third round. Getting Glock definitely not happy about that early in the round. Gets a sweep. Big in the eyes of the judges. And of course, Ken Kla has got his uh, twin brother, Ken Kart, who I thought was fighting tonight, but I made a mistake. And of course, Ken Kart is a uh, former Lumpini Stadium bantamweight champion, 118 pounds. But of course, it's this Ken Kla's moment here now. Highly experienced fighter. Great defensive awareness there to check the kick of uh, Jumpy Cat. Ooh. Now, if you're Jumpy Cat, now the way to win this fight is speed and aggression. Genka, Genkla has lost that step. Yeah, he's in the last couple of years, of his career, yeah. by his own admittance, he's lost that extra step. But the experience and the ring prowess and the knowledge is there. So if I'm Jumpy Cat, staying on the outside. Oh! Oh, swing and a miss. Speed and aggression. Wow, there that you was go. A fast kick there, Speed Kevin. and aggression. That's what he needs to do. Not that he's listening to me or anything, but. <laughs> Gengla definitely stalking him a little bit. And of course, we're live on the Fight TV app. Oh, and a big roundhouse kick up top. Our media Gengla partners worldwide. Here we go. Here's the clinch. This is what I wanted to see. This is what I like here. The grappling part, the grueling part. You like to call this dirty boxing, or right? clean Muay Thai. Clean Muay Thai. Here in the kingdom of Thailand, for sure. Yeah, I really like that aspect of the game. It can really change a fight. This is real tit for tat right now. Both guys not allowing each other to get too far ahead on the points. With aggression on both ends now. Round three, they're really picking it up. One of the one of the beautiful parts about the sport of Muay Thai when you attend the stadiums, not just watching the fighters, watching the referee, watching the judges, watching the crowd, watching the corners. Most importantly, the corners. Student of the game. Yep. That's how you get to under a feeling and understanding for the beautiful culture culture of the sport of both, Muay Thai. Both fighters trade roundhouse kicks to the body, partially blocked Dingla. Now the crowd's really filling out, getting into it here. We can hear the crowd pop on each of these hits. Final 30 seconds of the third round. Bout number one, Genkla Porpeko against oh, Jumpy Cat kick. Sheputam. Round number three, bout Jump. number one. Great, one, two, three there. Jumpy Cat using some of his boxing skills. Look good, nice and crisp. Yeah, he's very relaxed and good. the speed on that left body kick. And he's going to be able to set these kicks up a lot yeah. better when he starts using his boxing. Oh, good aggression there. This is where Genkla is very knees. strong. Huge, huge experience by Genkla. Big knee by Genkla again. Look at that. Look at that great movement. Clinch. He's using the movement a lot. Jumpy Cat. Trying to slip out clinch. of the clinch by Jumpy Cat. Fantastic wow. third round. That Excellent. is it. I told you the money round's Excellent coming right now. Excellent third round by both Are fighters. Are not entertained? Kevin Noon, wow. Yes, I am. Beautiful. Very, very entertained. Happy to be up here in the booth, not down there at the judges' table. That was very, very back and forth. Aggression from both fighters be difficult to call. We Phoenix. have a, a fantastic atmosphere building here in the stadium. Absolute fantastic. The crowd is building. Everyone is ready. But you, me, every man, woman, and child is waiting for Yusef Huganim. That is right. There's no question the guy has solidified his position as the king of the middleweights. But I would love to see him down the road, I don't know when or where, to fight Jimmy Vinot from France. Oh, that would be amazing. Uh, does Jimmy deserve a shot at Youssef? Some people will say yes, some will say no. I want to see the fight happen. That would be an Teddy, exciting fight. talk to us about the replay, please. There was that big sweep early on in the fight. Caught him when he went up for the leg kick. There's a big, nice block there by Ginkla. Hands down, just missed that. Millimeters, just Teddy, missed millimeters. It. Good block there. And look at, look at his face, shook it off. 
That one hurt. Good retaliation there. Genkla is so relaxed. He's yeah. calmness personified, right? I just like him to set those kicks up a little bit more. Each fighter sees those coming. They get the block ready. I think it seems. Go down and tell him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all he needs is some coaching. How, how for funny me. would that be, huh? And round number four coming up. It's our opening bout of tonight's card. Nine scintillating bouts. Three WBC world titles. One famed, glorified, coveted Rajadamnan, Yusef Buganem defends his title, the Rajadamnan belt, against the current Lumpini Stadium that is champion. Be so it's champion of. Against champion. Classic super fight. Exactly the, what a super fight yes, is, Kevin. The two biggest Muay Thai stadiums in Thailand. Clashing. Champion, champion versus clashing champion. later on today. You cannot God. exaggerate the significance of this fight. I mean, Teddy, what, round what number these four. Fans have in them later on. Round four. Gengla in the red corner. Jump Peacock in the blue corner. Big kick by Beautiful Jumpy roundhouse Cat. kick Big by kick. Jumpy Cat. Beautiful speed and velocity in it. Now he's starting to use that jab lovely. There he sneaks oh, in an elbow over the top. Elbow Beautiful. Again. Yeah, fantastic. That connected. That connected. Wonderful, wonderful shot. Can he bully him to the ground? Wow, Gengla now, tries to bully him, couldn't get a great balance. Jumpy Cat is growing in confidence now. Stature and Big confidence. Knees inside. And Good you can see that vibrancy in the corner. But this is where Genkla is strong in the clinch. That's where his yeah. experience. Yep. Over 200 fights. And there he is now, initiating the clinch, trying to bring him into deep waters right yeah, here. Yeah, this is where they look for dominance. That's right. The master versus the apprentice. Grueling, very grueling. Any grappling of wrestling, jiu-jitsu, judo, it's just it's such a such a grueling aspect of combat sports. You really got to be trained. Such a big part of the sport here, too, is the, what the corners, the, the volume, the vocalization, trying to influence the judges' minds. It all plays its part. Minute in to round number four. Second of the money rounds, I like to call it. You can see the speed and aggression out from both fighters. Look at the referee. Dubby sneaks that into the ribs. But what a job. I love that job, refereeing these fights. Beautiful. Big knees inside, good job. A lot of scoring going on. Jockeying for position. Kane Clark is being urged forward now by his corner. They obviously feel he's behind on the scorecards. One minute and a half to go in the fourth round. They are urging him forward. This is where you sink or swim now in the clinch in this fight because Jumpy Cat is definitely sending the ascendancy on the outside. Minute 20 left. Goes for a sweep, almost Goes for that second himself. one, yeah. Nice good job, Yeah, good, good defensive job, push yeah. kick by Genkla. Oh! oh! Spinning back elbow, miss! <laughs> Genkla just ducks out of the way and initiates another clinch. You could see that coming in Baghdad, though. <laughs> He did. He did set that up from far away. Gangla smart enough to see it. Smart Final enough to 40 read it. seconds in round number four. Both corners now are screaming at their fighters, urging them forward. This is a phone booth. Oh my goodness. There we go. Referee sets him up. 46 seconds left. Big, Big kick again there. by Gangla. Big now he's looking inside. to dominate in the clinch with knees to the lower half of the body. And then ties up Jumpy Cat. Back on the action, guys. There we go. Kick for Almost kick. caught it. Tit for tat. Here we go. All right. Bullying against the ropes. Good jostling for position. Oh, 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 oh. The Three seconds to go in round number four. Oh, wow. wow. The crowd is on their feet. Wow. Wow, are you not entertained? Fight one, four rounds in the book. Fifth and final round coming up. Gang Gla in the red corner, Jump Peacock in the blue corner. This is Phoenix Five and Teddy Mulvey alongside Kevin Noon bringing you the action. This stadium is electric now. Mesmerizing. Filling up every second I look up, there's about 100 more people in here. Mesmerizing Muay Thai. This is the home of Muay Thai and okay, we're you're, live. You're a wordsmith. I love it. My lexicon development. Wow. Thank you, Tong Suk College, for your fantastic <laughs> degree program. Shout out to my good people at Tong Suk. It's never too late to learn. So fight number one did not uh, disappoint so far. Teddy, Here we go. take us through there the replay, that, please. That was the only elbow that really connected flush over the top. Great technique. Great kick there to the ribs. Sneaks right in. Beautiful you camera the view there, wasn't yep. it? <laughs> there was that sweep that worked in round, uh, an earlier round. Didn't work there. Gangla with some great defense there to see that. The push kick, as you said, 
And here we go. Three more minutes left in our first fight. The Phoenix Five live in the kingdom of Thailand, the Mecca of Muay Thai. No better place to be than right here. No better place. And, and we are we're approaching the climax of this fight, fight round number five Genkla on screen getting some advice from the big gym boss Por Peko from Jit Muang Nan Gym and as Teddy already mentioned the stadium is filling up my heart is filling up with love for this sport um, and I'm excited I can't wait I really can't wait oh earlier did I mention I met Damien Alamos yes you did oh sir. sorry and just gonna is, say it again it is a night of stars inside and outside of the ring as well you can see a few uh, familiar yeah, this, faces this show, around. This show garnered so much attention with the mainstream media in Thailand. Yes. That's the, that was the really interesting part. Not just with the Muay Thai media, with the mainstream media, which is fantastic for the sport of Muay Thai. And fantastic. here we go. Round five, three more minutes left in our show opener. This is it, guys. You want to come and take it. No more help. Big kick by both fighters. Oh, Vicious. Oh, great. This is now where Jump right, Cat elbow. wants to be. This is not where he wants to be. And against the ropes. You're getting to getting uh Gang class experience now in his prowess. This is where he will look to dominate. Well, if he wanted to bring in the deep waters, he has them in deep waters right now. Absolutely, no question about and you that. You can see the poise of Gangla too. You can see the way that he's handling this the, round. The big context here, neither yes, fighter believes he's winning. This is why they're being so yeah, aggressive. Exactly. Fifth round. It is such a tough round, uh, such a tough fight to call, excuse me, and tough rounds as no, well. Two big Great. body kicks by Jumpy Cat. This is a fantastic opening fight. Big knee by Gangla pulling Feel each the other crowd. against the ropes. Teddy, listen. Listen, listen. To pops, huh? listen to the crowd. Feel the atmosphere. Feel the culture. Fantastic. Muay Thai, alive and kicking. The greatest fight sport in the world. Yep, I said it. Kevin Noon from Ireland said it. Gangla now stalking him, backing up against the corner, but a reversal there. Ah, look, like, at, look at the experience that Gangla has in the, in the clinch. John Picot holding his own, though. Fantastic. But both corners now. Just over a minute and a half to go in the bout. They're on the edge of their seats. They're literally screaming the house down, urging both fighters on. We're live. Fight app, Fight TV Gang app, live around the world. I think Gang Glass looking for a big elbow over the top, and he's setting it up. Whoa. Big knees inside as Fantastic. he pulls him against the ropes. Hands down by John Peacock. Get your hands up. And here we go again, chalking for position. Spinny oh, quick dump He sends him to the canvas, yeah. One minute left in the minute. round. That's a great Here we dump. go, here we go. Final minute approaching. Kenkla Porpeko taking on Jumpy Cat. Chu Watanajim. This is a fantastic war of attrition. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And there we go. They think they've done enough. They're going to wait out the last... So 40 both, seconds. Both, fighter, both fighters believe they've done enough to win this bout. That's right. This is uh, classic Muay Thai here. They will take this time off to, you know, showboat to the crowd, showboat to each other. They think, you know, Paul Al, that's enough. That's enough in Thai. 27 seconds left. We're going to have a little break. We're going to have a little breakdance fighting going on here. The crowd trying to cheer on their own. Um, their own champion here, trying to get the judges in their favor. Ken Kla, the former multi-stadium champion, taking on the young gun, Jumpy Cat. Jumpy Cat just did a couple dabs in the ring right there. Wow, all right. For the kids out there. Uh, three seconds. Whoever wins this Two, bout, one. Wow, the fans one. are the winners. Oh, excellent, excellent opening bout for the show. Wow. Ken Kla, Porpeco in the red shorts. Jumpy Cat, Chef. Sit Boon Tam Jim in the blue corner. We go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. Both fighters showing respect to each one, and here we go. We're just waiting for Kevin. the official judges' decision, and of course, our MC for the night is Mr. Grant Waterman. Whoa! Wow! Genkla does it! He does it! Wow. The steely veteran, Kun in the house. Good evening, Kun The steely wow. veteran, Genkla Porpeko, wins the opening bout of the wow. night. Magnificent. Wow. wow. 
Definitely, definitely rounds four and five, I think, on his favor. So the old head, the clinch, yeah. the clinch. It, it was, he initiated Teddy, a lot. story of the fight. Story of the fight was that. It was round four and five, it was the clinch. It was his poise and his defense as well, luring uh, John Peacock into his game and playing his game. Congratulations, Gangla.